Okay guys, this is going to be an unboxing video for the brand new Sky HD terabyte box. As you can see, I've just received this. It's completely unopened at the moment, so let's get on and open this thing up. Okay, so as you can see, packaging removed, we get a nice new uh, installation guide, although it's pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of connecting it up to the, uh, the coaxial from your satellite dish and your HDMI cable. Proof of purchase now, we're not too interested in that, so let's open this up. Looks a little bit like a pizza box on the outside, but um, I'm sure the actual unit itself is far nicer. Here we go. Okay, so once inside, use a manual that will almost certainly never get read. The basic Sky Plus terms of conditions guide, again, not terribly interested in that, so that just leaves us. With the juicy bits. Okay, so here on the left hand side we have a packaged HDMI cable. Don't think we got one of those in the original Sky Plus box, so that's always useful. A brand new Sky HD remote control, which is a uh, cool and sort of gunmetal grey effect rather than the old silver plastic original Sky Plus and HD so again always very nice to have comes with some batteries and then we have the AC adapter yeah, not much to see there but just for your reference okay and here's the start of the show I'm just going to get this out of its cover and then we'll show you what it can do okay so here's the brand new unit. I must say it's uh, a little bit more attractive than the old one. I didn't like the fact that the old one was part black and part grey which kind of ruined my all black TV unit effect. As you can see here we have the Dolby Digital 1 terabyte and DV free certifications. Front flipping panel here which has a USB port as well as the viewing card slot. And I guess one of the things you'll most be wanting to know about is the connectivity on the back. So you have your AC adapter here, your typical composite RGB ports, digital coaxial and optical out still uses your bog standard RF cables as well your two satellite inputs HDMI, SCART, Ethernet which is going to be for downloading um, some content on demand from sky.com and you also have a USB and serial ATA slots as well as your telephone line now the one thing that disappoints me immediately from looking at this is they've removed the um, component inputs or outputs I should say which was very useful for myself as I have a, a digital recording uh, piece of hardware which allowed me to record directly from Sky to my PC or Apple Mac but I can't use that anymore of this but um, that's one of the prices we have to pay for the upgrade I guess but it seems pretty redundant that they would still use something as archaic as SCART or RGB and not component but there you go okay so next up I'm going to get this hooked up to the television just to see if there's any difference in the menus and be able to see the LED lights on the front in operation just so you can see how nice the new thing looks. Okay, so the unit's all connected now. It's just been uh, powering up for a, a few seconds. I'm going to attempt to switch this on now and see what happens. Okay, so everything seems pretty much exactly the same right now. So let's go into the menus and see if we have anything new here with our new box. Okay, so having needed to make a very quick call to uh, to the Sky Helpline in order to pair up my viewing card for my old Sky HD box to the new one, I can now watch uh, HD programming on my specialist subscriptions such as sports and movies and have my recording functionality. Now the LED um, 
it's pretty much exactly the same as it was on the old one but for those who want to see it here it is so I'm just going to record this cricket game for a few moments as you can see it's very discreet light for this particular box compared to the old one one thing I have noted for those who are interested is that the uh, the hard drive as it whirs up and, and, and spins does seem a little bit louder than the last one but perhaps that's because it's such a a big unit for the extra uh, storage capacity okay so that's how it looks recording I'll just open the planner up now and uh, play that back just so you can see the play light on and there you go it's pretty straightforward really so it's a very nice looking unit it's considerably smaller than the last one it's made from a more shiny uh, plastic material which looks lovely but um, as I've noticed as I was uh, wiring the thing together I've gotten handprints all over it so it's going to need a good polish now but apart from that it's a very nice unit it'll be nice to see what new capabilities the Ethernet connectivity allows in the future for uh, video on demand and, and those kind of things but um, we'll see how we go with it it certainly looks a lot nicer than the old one mine was starting to make some funny noises as it's been used many hours per day for the last couple of years uh, so fingers crossed this one will prove to be a wise investment thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to comment subscribe and rate thanks very much